Hello, warm greetings everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from right now. And welcome to Germination TV, our hub for health, arts, and business. And this is your host, Jeremy, here in London. And for all of you who are watching in Facebook, please uh, write on the comment box where you're watching from. Any questions or suggestions later on will be entertained. And of course, um, thumbs up and hearts will be very much appreciated. So don't be shy. Give it a try. Click those buttons now. But before we proceed, I always do this on Germination. I would like to invite everyone for a minute of silence. Let us all remember all those people who died of COVID-19, all those who are fighting for their lives because of COVID-19, all those who are infected with COVID-19, especially those who lost their job because of this pandemic lockdown. Join me in a minute of silence. Let's all pray for them and remember them. I am, we are all the keeper of light, so others will see it. Yes, so today I have many very special guests. <laughs> Let's all bring them all now in the screen. This is my first time to do this one, interview a lot of people all in one. If you know germination, I always just interview one person. But today, let's all bring them in. Let's see all the beautiful faces today. Okay, adding them one by one. There you go. And, uh, Hey, hello everyone. Hello. 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 Good afternoon, hello. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Germination, we have the officers of Filipino Nurses Association here in the UK. So let's just, yeah, Filipino Nurses Association or FNUK. There is a website you can see in there, www.fnuk.org.uk. And their email address is info at fnuk.org.uk. So let's just wave to everyone, those who are watching, especially on the uh, on the Facebook page. In the in our Facebook page, uh, we are broadcasting or live streaming simultaneously as well. So let us just uh, introduce uh, everyone here. Uh, on live stream. So let's just start with, uh, this is a meet and greet, basically. So this is a meet and greet. And uh, last Friday, uh, 25th of uh, this month, uh, they had their official outtaking at the Philippine Embassy. Am, is that correct? Yes. They had an official yes. outtaking. Yep. Great, 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 great. So let us just uh, meet them one by one. Uh, just basically your name, the role or the position that you uh, that you play in the Filipino Nurse Association, and of course where you work and which um, which uh, role as well in the hospital that you're working, and if you want to greet uh, your your family and friends in the Philippines, please do so in your own dialect. Yeah, so I will start. Yeah, I will start. So my name is Jeremy. Uh, I am a proud member of Filipino Nurses Associ Association UK. Uh, I work at St. George's uh, University Hospital as a discharge coordinator. Uh, my background is mainly uh, ITU, and I was a clinical nurse, nurse specialist for stroke before. And let's pass now to, just bear with me, eh? uh, because I have prepared. That one. Hi, Jeremy. Yo, hello, hello. Is just it introduce me? yourself. Yep, yep, yep. 
Hi, Jeremy. It's um, Susie Lagrata. I've been a guest to your um, amazing show before. I'm the interim secretary of um, FNA UK, and I work at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery in Queen Square, London, part of UCLH NHS Foundation Trust. I'm an advanced nurse practitioner in headache disorders and neuromodulation. Thank you. Wow. And thanks for Thank inviting us. Yes, yes, yes. And then we have Marlin. Okay. Next one. Good afternoon, everybody, and good evening in Philippines. Um, my name is Marilyn. I originally come from Ifugao in the province of uh, Ifugao province in the in Cordelia region, and I uh, completed my. Um, degree in St. Louis University. I am one of only two um, officers from the independent sector, and I represent the Southeast re region um, we, along with Maya. Um, oh, Southeast. Yeah. Southeast Mapod region. Mapod and Algoyo namin at Lagawi at Ipugao. <laughs> wow, amazing, amazing, wow. amazing. Next one we have Maya. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, Jeremy. Hello, Hello there. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you for having us. My name is Maya. I hail from the Ilocos, uh, Ilocos province. Um, I currently work as a clinical specialist lead for the NHS supply chain after a uh, role, a secondment role uh, with the Department of Health. Uh, alongside with that, I also work as a uh, honorary specialist practitioner at the uh, Oxford University Hospitals and Family Health uh, Foundation Trust. My speciality is vascular access and IV therapy. Thank you. Wow. Oh, amazing. yeah, I represent, um, I'm a board, uh, regional board director of the Southeast. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oops. Let me one. Next we have Sharon De Vera. Hi, Jeremy, and everyone. Hello there. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Sharon De Vera, and I'm the Network and Social Events Coordinator of the Philippine Nurses Association UK. And I, my background is intensive care unit, but I, I am currently working in cardiothoracic recovery um, nurse in Freeman Hospital. Uh, Newcastle upon Tyne uh, Foundation Trust here in Newcastle. And <coughs> maayong hapon sa inyong tanan dari sa UK and maayong gabi isa inyo sa Pilipinas. Dagang salamat. Wow. Salamat. Mm. Then we have... Hello, Mark. Good, good afternoon, Jeremy, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Michael Mark de Luido. Uh, you can call me Mark. Uh, at the moment, I am one of the three uh, regional board of directors uh, for London region. And uh, currently, I'm an infection prevention and control nurse specialist from King's College Hospital. And just like you, Jeremy, I used to be one of the uh, stroke, uh, uh, stroke, uh, re uh, stroke research, stroke uh, nurse specialist as well from King's as well. Oh, thank King's you. as well. Thank you. Thank you. One. And then we have, hello, Jay. Hello, uh, good afternoon. My name is Jay, uh, originally from Davao City. I'm the interim auditor of FNA UK. I'm currently working as a clinically deputy manager for in the independent sector. I'm the other one uh, working, uh, representing the independent sector in this organization. And yeah, uh, mayong ahapon o mayong gabi sa tanan. Thank you. <clears throat> now we have Sir Ariel. Oh, I think you're on mute, uh, Sir Ariel. Hello, good afternoon, uh, Mabuhay. Uh, good afternoon to you, Jeremy, and to my fellow officers and to all our viewers, uh, not only in the United Kingdom, but as well 
us in the Philippines. So Ariel Lanada, originally from Iloilo City, Philippines. I am working at uh, Oxford University Hospitals and its Foundation Trust uh, for 18 years now. I am the practice development and education lead. And I am also an associate lecturer at Oxford Brooks University. I am the interim president of the Filipino Nurses Association of United Kingdom. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Merlin, you have to unmute yourself. That's it. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon, Jeremy and everyone. Uh, all the view viewers in the world who are watching this, I'm Merlin Tabirao. I'm originally from Bicol region, from the happy island of Catanduanes. And I've been a nurse for 26 years. And wow. most of my nursing uh, has been spent in intensive care. Um, in 2017, uh, I moved into a specialist role, which is infection prevention control nurse. So I've been, have been busy for the last few months, sorting out um, mm. everything in terms of infection prevention control with the COVID pandemic. And um, I've been in the UK for 16 years, and I am the health and well-being lead of the FNA UK. And I joined this um, uh, fantastic organization because um, it's my passion to help um, and serve our colleagues, which I've been doing since I became a nurse. So I, want, I would like to extend it to all our other colleagues within the UK as a whole. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Thank you. And we have... At the Evangeline, hello. <laughs> hello, po. Um, so I'm Evangeline Martinez. I come from Baguio and Benguet province, uh, from the Cordill Cordilleras as well. Uh, I am currently a rehabilitation nurse, working the capacity of. I have a dual role: a junior sister and a research nurse. My specialty is spinal cord injury nursing, and I am with the London Spinal Cord Injury Center, Royal National Orthopedic Hospital, Stanmore. Uh, so, ma magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Um, naimbag nga, naimbag nga daw, kanyayo amin. Wow, amazing. Thank you, ate. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm, I'm sure there are some um, uh, some people who would like to come in into the uh, screen. Uh, we only have a capacity of 10 at the moment, but we will take it in turns. Will that be all right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Good, 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 good. So let me just bring in the banner of Filipino Nurses Association. There you go. So they can, so they know uh, which... Uh, uh, website and of course email address. So I always do this to my uh, special guests. My special guests. Hello. <laughs> I have this uh, quick fun questions. Uh, let's start with. Uh, are you ready for this? It's just <laughs> one question. <laughs> <that I would. laughs> just one question and just answer as quickly as you can. And this is just warming you up uh, and getting to know you more as well, right? And of course, we need to have fun on this show, right? So, uh, Sir Aliel, what is your guilty pleasure? <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, delay. I'm sorry, Jeremy. There's a bit of an echo. I didn't oh. get the question. I'm sorry. <laughs> guilty pleasure. What's your guilty pleasure? Hearing is his guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Susie. Susie, what was the last thing that you Googled? Oh. You. No, FNA. I did FNA. Google FNA, yeah. FNA. Wow, I lost your, your name. So you just. Oh. I'll, I'll shout out the name, Jeremy, and you can say it. Marilyn uh, is the next one. Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> no, I've got this one. Um, uh, Evangeline, Evangeline, what makes you yes. laugh? What makes you laugh? Very, 
very, very real things. Like I am very, I laugh all the time. I smile all the time. Yes, <laughs> Everything shallow makes me happy. Like togetherness, right. sharing, all the positive vibes. Amazing. Merlin. Merlin, complete the sentence. Hand washing is? Hand washing is what we need to do to prevent ourselves from any infection and keep us healthy. Well done. Michael, <laughs> what scares you? My wife. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Jay, Jay, blonde or brunette? Blonde. Um, wow. Maya, <laughs> Maya <laughs> apart from your face, which body part you look most in the mirror? Apart from your face, which body part you look most in the mirror? Apart from my face, my eyes? Is that part oh, of my okay. face? No, that's my... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Do we have, uh, oh, uh, Sarah Riel, what's your guilty pleasure? Hearing. Hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I am really struggling with the sound. I'm so sorry. Um, there's, there's a bit of a delay. There's a bit of an echo. I can't follow it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you probably need to take off your, um, yeah. your headset. Guilty pleasure. Yes, guilty pleasure. Yes. Here. <laughs> probably right now. <laughs> <laughs> what was that sorry it's delayed it's really delayed for uh, Sarah Riel, yeah, he it? said you are his guilty pleasure oh okay <laughs> <laughs> Susie have I asked you already you did and Marlene what was the lie that you recently told Marilyn the lie that you recently lie? told lie yeah that you um, recently told that I'm happy in my employment <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I think uh, Ati Sharon, I haven't asked Ati Sharon yet. Yes. Weird or crazy? Um, crazy and weird. Both? Well, crazy, this one? Both. Crazy. I think I'm both. Okay. Which, which one is dominant? Um, weird. Where is good? Where is good? Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that one. Yeah, those uh, quick part questions. Okay, I would like to uh, direct my question to uh, our uh, health and well-being uh, officer, who is Marlene. Right. <laughs> Let's just change this one. Actually, um, I think I can. Yep. Can we hold on? Hello. Marlene, you yeah. are the. Oop. Yes, yes. I think I'd lost you. Uh, hold on. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Marlene, as a health yes. and well being, yeah, you are the health and well being officer of. Uh, Filipino Nurses Associ Association UK. Um, tell us more about uh, the service uh, that uh, FN UK actually provides in terms of uh, health and well-being. So we we have just started, and then I, I'm sort of um, collating all the health and well-being resources, um, and then um, we, uh, Michael, our uh, fellow officer, Miss Joanne. Um, has already uh, done a wholeness and well-being session the other yeah, yeah. Sunday. And then um, we will work together because she is a psychosocial nurse. So yes. we'll work together to carry on with that workshop because obviously, especially during this pandemic, that is the much needed um, um, session. And then um, because we, we really need to look after ourselves um, Mm -hmm. uh, particularly this pandemic on because um, we're so busy in the at work so um, our uh, the aim of our um, association and especially myself it's to provide a sort of set of resources for our um, 
uh, members and colleagues, uh, not just nurses, but everyone who are access who are able to access our FB page in our website uh, to to give them some advice on how they can. Um, you know, carry on working and at the same time looking after ourselves because obviously if we don't uh, look after ourselves, uh, we won't be able to care for others. As what we have been saying that any person couldn't pour from an empty cup, so we need to recharge and mm -hmm. relax and rest ourselves that, you know, we'll be ready in every um, challenges and difficulty that we will be encountering in our work in our uh, own personal and family lives as well amazing yeah that's really true that's why i uh, that's the first thing that i have asked uh health and well-being because especially during these covid times um uh, it's not good to suffer in silence it's really good that we promote uh people being able to express themselves um, yeah. You had this um, workshop last last week. I just would like to show it to everybody because she said it uh, it will be a recurring a workshop for Filipino Nurses Association. So that's the one. So wholeness and wellness preserving our well being. So last twenty second of September there was a two hour session, and it will uh, we will expect that uh, um, there will be more sessions to come in the next months next months to come. <laughs> so yes, yes. So uh, thank you, Ate. Uh, Ate Marlene, I've got a quick fun question for you. Yes. It's a busy shift. And you are the, uh, would you rather, you have only two choices. Would you take in charge or look after a confused patient? Um, both. I don't mind doing both. I've been doing, uh, been in charge uh, for, you know, pretty much most of my um, job, particularly in critical care. So I, I would love uh, being in charge because I can have an over view of everyone and I can oversee everyone, uh, making sure that all patients and my colleagues are all safe and functioning at the workplace. And then I would, uh, I, I, it's my pleasure as well in my um, passion to to look after um, underprivileged patients, particularly those with confusion, learning disabilities. So I, I would love both. I'm sorry, Jeremy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you didn't choose one. <laughs> You're a super nurse. <laughs> Thank you very um, much, Ate. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. So that's very important. Although all of you are listening uh, here in uh, 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 Facebook Live, especially on our Facebook page, so give importance. The message is give importance to yourself as well because we cannot look after other people if we ourselves is not well enough. And one of them is the mental well-being. Um, it's, it's like an invisible problem, you know, because you don't see it like if you have a stroke or, you know, it's not physically manifested. So it's yeah. very important that we call for help. So that is the main message. So yeah. uh, let's go to uh, Jay. Hello, Jay. Yeah, okay. hello. <laughs> Jay, um, um, FNUK has got core values, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, such as, um, what are the core values? Uh, talk us through about the core values of, uh... <laughs> it's okay, you can, everybody can, uh... Everybody can interject. Everybody yeah. can interject. So, because uh, it's like uh, seven core values of a uh, Filipino Nurses Association. So, um, what is the most important you think, Jay, is uh, from all the core values? Uh, tell us what you can remember from the core values. <laughs> I, I, have write, I have written it down myself as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, which, which one do you think is the most important out of the core values? Because uh -huh. we have uh, compassion. Yeah, I hope, I hope all my fellow officers agree with me on this. But I think for me, the most important core value, core, um, uh, value among the four values that we we have as a team is the first one, which is the compassion, because that's our uh, fundamental. Being a nurse, we are we we became a nurse because we are compassionate. We are doing this. We are working together because we share the same compassion towards um, other Filipinos who are in the UK and who those who. Fire to, to come here, so we are also um, would like to help them, um, nurture them, and help them prepare themselves to be an, um, an effective nurse here in the country. So I think the first one is the most important one for me. Compassion, yeah. So uh, let's just uh, let's just make the uh, everybody aware of uh, the 
the core values of uh, Filipino Nurses Association. Uh, one is compassion, which you already said. Uh, second is learning. learning. Very important. We we learn all the time, you know. Even though you're uh you're um it, it doesn't choose any age. We learn every day from our lives and every situation. Opportunity. Opportunity. Right? Uh, you can Jeremy. you can shout it out, uh, guys. Shout it out. <laughs> Actually, Jeremy, in yeah. Jeremy, we have we have we have an acronym for it to make people yeah. better understand and yep. easily understand it. It's actually Clovier. Clovier, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. It, you know when you acronymize one word, um, certain few or few words, it's mm -hmm. much easier to remember. So it's compassion, exactly. learning, opportunity, opportunity visionary, vision. integrity, respect. respect. Empowerment. 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 Yeah, empowerment. Empowerment. Amazing. So, Jay, you will not escape my quick fun question. <laughs> <laughs> you want to reinforce your infection control, right? Is that correct? Did I hear it correctly? No. no. Okay. Um, you want to reinforce anyway. You want to reinforce hand washing. You're in charge of the shift. You want to reinforce uh, hand washing, which is very important during this day, especially mm -hmm. in clinical area. What would you give them? Sticker or sweets? Sorry. What would you give them? Sticker, sticker or sweets? Sticker. You know, just sticker. sticker. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. 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 Good nudge. It's a good nudge. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You know, it's really, it's really very important that we reinforce a uh, positive behavior, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, people care uh, what others are doing, especially if it's a positive one. So yeah. that's good. That's good. So um, let's go to Michael. Michael, hello. Hi. <laughs> hello, Michael. So as a regional director in London, London is really a wide, uh, you know, wide area. And of course... Uh, people would like to go to London. If they are in the countryside, they would like to go to London. You know, it's like Manila, right? If you're from the province, people go to Manila. <laughs> so, um, how can as a as a regional director in London, how can you uh, attract um, nurses, Filipino nurses, to join uh, Filipino Nurses Association? Actually, Jenny, at the moment, for what we're doing since we just started, uh, we we are three in London region. Yes, yeah? so there's uh, other two regional directors. So we're still on uh, planning how are we going to to reach out to all the uh, Filipino nurses in London. So the same way, I think, even like in as you've said, when when you're in the province in Mani in the Philippines. Most of us, I myself, from the province of Isabela. Mm. So most of us are really wanting to go to to the city, which is Manila, to work because we know that if you are working in Manila or we go here now in London, I think the thinking is there's more opportunity. There's more opportunity for us to to grow not only professionally but also socially because uh, we know that uh, comparing London and mm. the countryside. Uh, especially for young generation of nurses, which mm -hmm. I think majority of of the uh, Filipino nurses uh, uh, population at the moment, I think they're gonna enjoy the, the fun nightlife in London, but not during this pandemic though. Yeah. So your question is, how am I going to attract them? Probably um, most of my friends are in the countryside, so they always keep asking me, is it is it the right choice to go to London? Because I myself, I used to work in, in Somerset, then I moved to Leicester, and most of my friends in London said, don't come here because it's very expensive. And, you know, I just wanted to 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 stop that, uh, to, to, to correct that myth, like, you know, uh, living in London, yes, it's expensive, but then again, you've got your London waiting allowance as well to mm -hmm. suffice that, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, gap. As, 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 as I say, so so I don't think um, that would be a, a issue. So if you, all of the people who are working in the UK, in the countryside, if you wanted to go to London, by all means, pack your things and come to London. There's nothing to worry because that's why FNA UK is born. We are here to help, support, and make sure that you've got somebody to lean on or to, to go to in case you need something. Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, I forgot something, Mark. <laughs> yes. I have a quick five questions for you. Hoist a patient or put a patient in a commode? 
I'm sorry? Hoist a patient or put a patient in the commode. Hoist a patient or put the patient in the commode. What will you choose? <laughs> what will you choose? You're busy, you're busy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put them in the commode. Yeah, okay, rather than hoist a patient. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want them okay. hanging. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or should we say patient choice? Or should we say patient choice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Safety safety first. Amazing, amazing. Safety first. Yeah. Yeah. Then um we have uh Evangeline at Evangeline. Hello, Hello at Evangeline. Hello there. Hello. Yes. So what another apart from um what um Mike, is it? I oh, forgot now the name. Sorry, I'm really not good. Mark. Jay, Jay, Jay. Uh, Jay said about the you know compassion is uh, the the most uh, important of all the core values. But um, but what do you think? As a member of FNA, should we focus from all those? Uh, yeah, from all those core values. What do you think uh, should um, uh, FNA focus? On those core values, what what oh, would you for, like to promote out of those seven core values? Okay, yeah. For me, it's empowerment. And mm -hmm. actually, if you empower somebody, you're compassionate towards them. You're mm -hmm. communicating mm -hmm. them, so they're mm -hmm. learning from you. Mm -hmm. So and and so, to me, empowerment encompasses the whole of the Clovier mm -hmm. visions. Yep. Uh, and I am also a rehabilitation nurse, so I try mm -hmm. to empower my patient to do so much more for themselves. Amazing. So, yeah, to me, empowerment. empowerment. Yes, I agree. I agree. Ate, complete the sentence. A Filipino nurse is? A Filipino nurse is? Fantastic. Well, amazing. Yeah. Well done, yeah. <laughs> for the fantastic Filipino nurses. That is very important, uh, empowerment. I agree to that one as well. Because, you know, uh, our profession is really hard. You know, it, it's, it's hard work. And if you don't empower other people, you end up doing everything for yourself. Yes. <laughs> you end up having a back pain and all these things to burn out. You know, it's, uh, it's not just uh, about uh, working hard. We also need to work smart as well. Um, we have other colleagues that we can uh, delegate uh, uh, other roles or other jobs. So even though we have specific ways of uh, working for ourselves and we want things done in a certain way, empowering people is very important because in that way, you are making your job easier as well. And at the same time, you are not like uh, everybody will come to you, you know, empower them, teach them what you know, you know, so they can actually uh, do others, uh, do other things and they can empower other people as well. So everybody will be like, yeah, everybody will be like leader in their own in their own rights. You know? I, I I think just quickly, um, just quickly, Jeremy, in the current climate as well, it's very yeah. important to empower our fellow Filipinos because mm. we were disproportionately affected, and it is a it's a fact. And mm -hmm. the only way that, that we can control this is to empower our colleagues to be able to speak up. Yes, absolutely, empowerment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't suffer in silence. That's uh, absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Uh, because it's in the Filipino culture as well that we just mm. obey, we just just get along, yes. you know. Just, yeah. And then people, uh, uh, we are giving, we're sending them the wrong message that yeah. okay, you, can, you can give them whatever, whatever. Yeah. You send them they the, think, uh, they think yeah. we're a yes man. They think we're a exactly. yes man. Yes, sir. Yes, right. man. But, you know, you, we, we used to be like that. But yeah. we are empowered. Um, we're empowered professional, professionals now. Exactly. That's why we have Filipino Nurses Association UK as well as the voice of Filipino nurses here in the UK, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So as what Susie said, I agree to what Susie said because Susie, we've been here since 99. You know, we've seen yeah. everything. Yeah. You know, uh, back then we were like, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. there, are like, there, are like, there are people who are coming in, you know, we have to empower them. We have to tell them, you know, this is your right. This is, you have to speak up. We have this culture of, you know, as what, what we mentioned earlier, and we have to eliminate that. We have to, we have to change that one. I agree with you, Susie. But uh, before before we carry on, uh, I've, I've been getting a lot of uh, message that uh, there, because in, in StreamYard, we can only accommodate 10 at the moment. Is it okay if we let them in? If I, but the, the, the only reason is, the only thing is I have to 
uh, remove some first. <laughs> the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, if I uh, Jeremy, you can remove me for the moment while I am sorting my microphone. Okay, yeah, yeah, if that's yeah, okay, all right. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, okay, okay. Di makadi ni si Sir eh. Di to lang makasagit si Sir Ariel. Delayed. Delayed, delayed. Oh. <laughs> Maybe um, I haven't. Uh, I, I, I will uh, remove. Evangeline, is that Evangeline? Yeah, yeah? Yes. I've yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And let's see who else. Um... Okay. So let's uh, go to uh, Susie. Yeah, perfect. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I can go after. Then we can let other people in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Susie. So uh, obviously, you've been a speaker to uh, a lot of places mm. here in Europe. And um, as a speaker for, for migraine, obviously. And how can you, uh, as a secretary as well, how can you help expand Filipino Nurses Association in other parts of, of Europe? Well, the, because at the moment, it's FN, FN, uh, FNA UK. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But obviously, at this point, we have to, to think bigger. We have to expand, right? So what, what do you think you can, you can do for the organization? Absolutely, Jeremy. We need to start thinking bigger. But before we actually run, we have to start walking first. And mm -hmm. by walking, what I mean is actually by showing, by, by, by excelling in the UK, first of all, by making sure that the organization keep it, keeps its integrity, by, living, by leading by example, and mm -hmm. by showing that you know, we live up to our promises, that we, we live up to our constitution and bylaws, that we are here for our members, for our fellow Filipino nurses and nursing associates in the um, nursing associates in the United Kingdom, and and we've been talking a lot about empowerment. And for me, that's for me that's almost the the, the core um, sort of function of FNA UK because mm -hmm. you know it, we're not the only organization here. So mm -hmm. we need to we we need to have that specific um, um, sort of niche that we can mm -hmm. we can we can run run with um, as a group. But I think once we have done that and excelled in the UK, then we can start empowering our fellow Filipino nurses mm -hmm. in, in the Europe. And it's it could be done. It could it could be done especially Jeremy, you know me. I've, we've known each other from the very beginning. I'm not really um, into association. I, I've mm -hmm. never joined the group ever. And I must say that the, 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 the quality, the integrity, the caliber of the fellow Filipino nurses and the members of this group, I think it will, it will really go places in terms of helping people. Wow. Thank you very much, Susie. Thank you very much for that. And um, quick fun question for you. Yeah. You have a very, 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 very favorite uh, program in Netflix. Yeah. You only got what, two hours. Yeah. You only got two hours. Your favorite uh program in Netflix, and you have this uh, new material in Migraine that you need to watch. Ooh. Yeah, but this, uh. this program in Netflix, is it's the last day. It's the last hour, you know, in, hour, in an hour, in a two hours time, it will be gone. <laughs> you so know what? what you, know what, what you, you know what, Jeremy? I've been reading Migraine every day anyway. I'm going to put it aside and watch Netflix. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, <laughs> hey. well Susie, Susie, bad Susie, bad Susie. Bad Susie. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? We need time for ourselves, right? We need time. Yes. <laughs> it's part of self care, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. Mom, Mom Berlin, right? It's part of self care. You know, do yes. what makes you feel happy. Do what, you know, I, I, I always say this one uh the the all the the goal is always to feel bad to feel good mm. and to keep feeling better that's exactly. the exactly every day every day because it, it it vibrates it radiates whatever we're feeling right now yeah. if we're not happy what 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 patient care are you going to give to your you know kind of care isn't it it will just you'll just be irritated and everything so do what you what makes you feel good yeah. and then it will just sort of recharge you wow thank you thank you and um, Mini is not here. Evangeline. Evan oh, we, we, we finished with Evangeline, isn't it? Okay. So, uh, Maya. Hello there, Maya. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Huh. Let's. While you're thinking of your question, Jeremy, I forgot to <laughs> greet. I forgot to greet my my fellow Ilocanos, did I? But everybody did, but I didn't. I'm really sorry. Can I just say 
Yeah, sure. One minute, one second. Na imbag nga rabi iyo amin na po nga kakabagyan ken kagayem ken kaaruba mi jay Ilocos. Ilocos Wow. My my father is also from uh, La Union, San Fernando. Oh, really? But, mm. but oh, okay. never never learned the the dialect. Never learned the language. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. So, uh, how can we be a, a member of uh, the Filipino Nurses Association UK? It's very easy, uh, but you first got to have the heart to be part of it. I mean, you know, you cannot yeah. just just join an organization for the sake of it. So everybody, every Filipino nurse is here in the UK. Please do join us. Um, the information should be on the link on the website. If you find that difficult to join that way, you can just join on Facebook. I think everybody else, everybody is on mm -hmm. Facebook. So it's that easy, really. Uh, I guess the big part, like I said, it's more important that you've got your heart into it to join us. Yes. You're also the regional director of uh, Southeast, Southeast area. Southeast, yes. That, which covers uh, which part? Southeast Sorry, of Sussex. Sussex, Kent. okay. Yeah, with Marilyn, yes. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So how, how did you get involved in the Filipino Nurses Association? Ah, she's not here, actually. Our mm -hmm. Vice President, Arlene, um, mm -hmm. like what Susie always describes her, she's very fierce and it's a shame she can't join us. She's mm -hmm. got another call. She's very popular. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, basically, she's, she's the one who's inspired me to do this. I've always mm -hmm. uh, looked up to her because I started as an orthopedic nurse uh, with her. She was my senior nurse. And um she's she's always been passionate with her job she's always been passionate with helping people and most often than not she prioritized everybody else before herself and um up to this time she's been here for 20 years um she's i've always looked up to her no matter um no matter what uh, the circumstances are she's always been helpful and she she's the one who's inspired me to be uh, able to um take part into a more uh, strategic and more wider uh, kind of help uh, to our Filipino community. Wow, amazing, yeah. Ate. Yeah. Quick fun question for you, Ate. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's very easy. It's <laughs> just a little bit of fun. <laughs> Somebody wants to swap with you. Would you? Okay. Would you, yeah? Yeah, would yeah. You do, uh, would you do a night shift or two long days? A night shift or two long days? I've done both. So I'd rather do a two long days. I'm, I'm really sorry, but I've done my fair share of night shift. And <laughs> sorry for the word, but I hated it with a passion. But it, it, was, a, it was a sacrifice. I mean, I mean, I think everybody else did. As a, as a mother of, of a young child, you've had to, uh, you know, prioritize. So I, I had to do night shift. But that, now that she's grown up, I do the two long days. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Ade. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nobody's coming in. I thought there's. Uh, I'm getting a notification saying it's full, but um, yeah. Okay. So we haven't chatted yet with Ate. Ate Sharon. Hello, Ate Sharon. Hello. <laughs> Ate Sharon. Hello yes, there. Yes. What 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 uh what other services um FNA actually offers? So to our um. Yeah. The good thing with FNA, if you'll be a member and register with FNA, so we have loads of training that can benefit all the Filipino nurses that mm -hmm. who wants to have more opportunity and to, you know, like to be going on higher level. So we have leadership skills and mm -hmm. um, interview um, skills workshop. Mm -hmm. And we have also loads of training still coming up. And on the 25th of October, we have financial education. Mm -hmm. um, the nurses that who wanted to do more, you know, like um, advanced their education. And also we have also the, as we have recently, the wholeness and um, well-being um, workshop. So we have more to come. So if everyone wants to join the FNA UK, so this will be the right group for you and it will help you to prosper you in your, um, well, yeah. if you want to progress in what you're doing right now. Yes, amazing, Ate, amazing. So, uh, quick fun question. Yes. You look after, um, it's a very busy shift, right? But you have only two choices. Would you look after, would you take in charge or look after a confused patient? Which one would you choose? Only one. <laughs> 
Well, probably um, I will be looking after confused patients. I, I've been in charge before, but if you're in charge, you'll be looking after the whole unit. Exactly. If I look at a confused patient, then if I'm in intensive care, so I'll just give like, um, you know, just to let them sleep, give them a call. Contentious, contentious. Oh, 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 oh. Be careful what you say. Mute, mute, mute. Or, or I'll just ask the doctor to give, you know, to prescribe something to let the patient calm, be calm. On yes, my yes. Head. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's there's still a notification, but nobody's coming in. So let me just uh, uh show uh, all the the services or the workshops which think, are which I is think available. You missed yep. Marilyn. I think you missed Marilyn. Marilyn. Yeah. I think. Yes, Marilyn. Okay. Marilyn. <laughs> Hello, Ate Marilyn. Hi. <laughs> Come I'm all right. So no, apart. Apart from ano po, apart from what was uh, said earlier, uh, compassion and uh, empowerment, what other core value do you think is very important from out of uh, those seven that was uh, that we need to reinforce in uh, Filipino Nurses mm -hmm. Association? Personally, it's really um, having to be respectful with um, mm -hmm. with everybody. I mm -hmm. know that even if we are all Filipinos, um, mm -hmm. we all come from diverse culture. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we also have to respect, and also at the same time, um, one of the reasons why I really wanted to join, and thank you to Jay actually introducing me mm -hmm. to the um, the officers of FNA UK, is because I want to raise the profile of those independent on the in, in the independent sector. Because for mm -hmm. for all the years, obviously those ones in the independent sector were always thinking that we are on the um, the weaker side. But mm -hmm. not really. Um, both sectors, NHS and healthcare, in the healthcare sector, are at the same level. We're all nurses. We're all having the same um, responsibilities and accountabilities. Mm -hmm. And as I say, as, as Susie had said earlier, it's true. You may have seen a lot of um, Filipino nurses who really are very, they're, they're very inferior to themselves. And, mm -hmm. and yet we are as a brand, nurses are a brand, Filipino mm -hmm. nurses are a really a brand internationally. And yes. that's what I wanted to really um, uh, put across everybody that we need to respect each other, whether we are in an independent sector or in NHS sector, because this organization is inclusive, as it says in all our, um, in all our um, uh, paperwork, the documents that we have all to be involved in um, FNA UK. Wow, amazing, Ate. I've got a quick, fun question for you, Ate. No problem. <laughs> yeah. so, Bring it on. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's a there's a chief. You're, you're an agency nurse, and there's a bank ship as well. Yeah. So uh, yeah. obviously, the private one they pay a, a, a lot higher, but mm -hmm. but um, that private uh, institution is very busy, and then you have another bank ship in the NHS. Mm -hmm. Which is good as well, but it's actually, you know, it, it's okay. So which 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 ship will you will you uh will you choose? The, the, um, the... I I think this this boils down to loyalty, really. Who you are going mm -hmm. to be serving first? Wow! Amazing! 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 Yeah. Jeremy, are you testing us? Testing us? Ah, huh? very contentious <laughs> questions, ah. <huh? laughs> yeah. You are. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit of yeah, fun as well. You know, it's not, it's good all answer, down though. to yeah, yeah, good loyalty answer, yeah. to me, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Day, I agree. We I agree, look yeah. after patients. Mm -hmm. uh, those ones in NHS, those ones mm -hmm. in the independent sector, we are mm -hmm. all looking after people. Our aim to become nurses is to really mm -hmm. having to care for people and mm -hmm. care for each other. Amazing. Jeremy, and, Jeremy, Jeremy, yes. Jeremy, if I'm live, I'll say, of course, NHS. Whoever needs me, <laughs> if, if it's private, the one that will pay me more. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, we are all humans, right? We're, we're, we're just being real. Yeah, we're just being just, real. Just, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> just being real. Yeah, that's the word I think. I, I think I've uh, I've asked everybody already. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me just uh, see. So who, somebody. Who 
Somebody is trying to join. Yeah, Marian. yeah. Yes. Mar oh, Marion. Okay, let's. Uh, shall I uh, try to remove? You can remove yeah. me, can you? Jeremy. You if you want it okay. to be quiet, remove me. Oh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> With the life of the party. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye, Susie. Bye. 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 Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. So, Marion. Marion, you can come in. I know you are tuning in. Uh, yep. Marion, please come in. Oh, yeah. There's somebody's knocking. This is fun. You've actually got a door to knock. <laughs> uh, yes. No, it's just, it's just the sound, I think. Uh, I don't know why they're not coming in. Oh, yeah. There's, somebody's trying to join. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's add. Hello. Hello, Joanne Laverne. Hello. Hello, Hello there. Hello. Hello there. Please <laughs> introduce yourself. Uh, just like what we were doing earlier to the other members. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Jeremy. Hello there. <laughs> yes, my name is Joanne Laverne Sanchez. Yes, and I'm from Cambridge University Hospitals, Adam Brooks Hospital. Hello. Laverne. So that uh, so Joe John Laverne is the is that correct? Uh, you're the network and social uh, events officer. Yes, I am. Hello, thank you for having us. Yes. Uh, which uh, you're from? Uh, you said Cambridge. Cambridge. Uh, is it Cambridge Hospital you work? Yes, and I'm what, from what's your role um, in there? Addenbrooke's yeah. Hospital. Addenbrooke's. Okay. Yes. Uh, which department is it? From the Department of Medicine for the Elderly. Wow, wow. It's a busy, it's a busy um, award, isn't it? Elderly, elderly. Yes, very busy. Yeah. You get a, 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 which province do you come from? You can greet your uh, family back home. Yes, hello to, to all those who came from Mandaluyong, mga Tagaloob, Tagalabas. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Now, my my mom used to work in the National Mental Hospital as well. So, you know, mm. so, so Mandaluyong. Yeah. It's National Center for Mental Health. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tagalog <Hello>. din siya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, ano siya sa accounting department. Yon. Oh, so, wow. Yes, yes. Hello. So, John, John. Uh, I was asking uh, uh, everybody, you know, out of the core values, uh, we have um, compassion, compassion, uh, learning, opportunity, visionary, integrity, empowerment, and respect. Um, uh, out of those uh, seven, uh, compassion was uh, mentioned already, uh, empowerment, and respect. So what do you think? Uh, um, you, you can repeat it again. It, 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 I'm not saying that you can't choose what has been said already, but what do you think is uh, the most important of all the, out of those seven core values? Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, I yeah. think... Um, each and every core value is really important. But for me, what I think is um, the best for me is respect. Because mm -hmm. yes. uh, with FNA UK, there's a feeling of deep admiration for um, everyone, for everything. Because, you know, elicited, with elicited um, abilities, qualities, and achievements, we've got a high regard for the feelings, wishes, priorities, and whatever a person would, you know, really love and like to do, we've got, mm -hmm. we really respect that. Uh, as nurses, we really respect each other, more so our patients. Uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're not related to them, but we give them all the respect that they truly deserve. Exactly. Especially all the uh, patient's choices and everything. So that, that is very important. That is very important. Thank you very much, uh, Thank Joanne. You. Yep, yep. Um, the studio is full. I might need to. Jeremy, uh, you can take me. You off. can take, take me because I'm. Take me <laughs> okay. <laughs> Volunteered. Volunteered. Thank you for having thank us again. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maya. Thank, thank you. you very much. Bye, bye thank everyone. You. Thank you. Bye, bye. Yeah. Who else wants to? Does somebody wants to come? We need to get Ariel back. Our yeah. president. Ariel, yeah. Ariel needs to come in. I, I, yeah. He, he said he's changing his laptop, so um, that is why. Hmm. So, um, uh, Filipino Nurses Association UK has got like uh, 3.4 uh, thousand uh, uh, members already. Uh, 
um, you can see there our uh, Facebook page, Filipino Nurses Association UK. Uh, it's a community interest uh, company registr registration numbers there as well. Uh, you can find Filipino Nurses Association UK in Twitter as well, Filipino Nurse UK. And yes, I just would like to uh, show everyone as well while we are waiting for uh, Marion uh, to come in. I think he wants to come in, but uh, Marion, you can come in. Uh, there are spaces. I just would like to show. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. I, I heard a uh, sound. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, odd stream. Hello, Marion. Hello. Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. So, Marion. Marion is, let's see. Yeah, Marion is. Mga Lindan is the learning and development. Is that correct? That's Did correct. Did I got it right? That's yes. correct. So please greet everybody. Uh, please tell, uh, obviously, your name, um, what role, and which hospital do you work. And if you want to greet your family or your friends uh, back home in your own dialect, please do. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Marion Mangalindan. I'm currently the Learning and Development Coordinator of the FNA UK. So I'm currently working at Nottingham University Hospitals in East Midlands. So magandang hapon po sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin ngayon. Yes, <laughs> yes. Sa yes. Yes. Isla Pampangan. Maya pa, Bengi Kekongan. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time, Marion. No? Just in time because you're actually the learning and development, which is very uh, important role in the association. Because in order for us to move forward and grow further, uh, we have to be continuously learning and developing ourselves. Yeah. That's so I just would like be, before that, I would like to show us meant to show um, the workshops that mm -hmm. uh, FNA is actually offering. So let's show that one uh, interview skills workshop. Yes, That's interview correct. skills so workshop. Interview skills workshop. So. Um, actually, we all have already conducted this interview skills um, workshop among those nurses mm -hmm. aspiring to um, climb up in the ladder. So we already conducted these sessions and we had some wonderful feedback. But as a new association, we're finding ways to really put a structure in everything we do. So in the coming months, we will be using um, a new system to in order for us to accommodate our members and in the coming days as well, we will be sending a um, survey uh, that would assess or determine what training needs our members have so that we can really measure our success and association and we can really find ways to really be of a system to them. So knowing that um, learning is one of the um, core values of FNA UK because mm -hmm are committed to professional development and that's one of the reasons why fna uk was established because we want to have a professional association for for nurses amazing and can i just say uh interview is very interview skills is very important it's because um it's like uh selling yourself you know you have to l learn how to sell yourself because uh, people think selling is just like you know selling products or services, but when you go for an interview, you're actually selling yourself. How uh, are you going to you know out of all those ten candidates or you know five candidates, how is the manager going to? Why would the manager uh, actually choose you? So that's very important. So I we, we recommend uh, people to actually go for these interview skills. Uh, it's like um, yeah, se selling yourself in order to. To get the position it's a, it's a very tough uh, environment especially during these days you know you have to be like uh, uh, i believe because it's not just uh, the skills because the skills you can teach eh? pero uh, the attitude you know you, in the interview in, in, the, in the during the interview it will come across you know some, some mga managers diba, nila, nila, oh, this this nurse has got an attitude you know even though it's, it's very skillful but if you got an attitude you know um it will be very difficult to work with with people like that so uh, i i yeah. strongly agree because mm -hmm. our communication mm -hmm. is not just verbal so yeah, during yeah. the interview the interviewer will see you know your your gestures if you are really um sincere so it's uh yeah, yeah. it's the first step i remember when i first 
applied for a job after passing the licensure exam, mm -hmm. I was asked, what sets you apart from the rest of the applicants? Because exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. there were six of us that were interviewed and I realized all of them already have work experience. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I've got no work experience. So I then told them that what sets me apart is the absence of experience. So being someone who is novice, I'll be able to um, commit myself to to learning new things and etc. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really expecting to get the job, but at the end of the day, I was the one who got hired. So I think yeah. it's really how you carry yourself. But for exactly. you to do that, you really have to be, you know, equipped with uh, certain skills and it takes practice. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, thank you. And then we have leadership skills as well. Yep. Yes, um, leadership, leadership. Uh, skills. Mm -hmm. um yeah th this is for um band six nurses but uh, mm -hmm. we're also opening this to band five uh nurses uh because we strongly believe that every nurse has the potential to to be a leader and staff nurses are also leaders at the bedside in our hospital we have shared governance council in which gives nurses the opportunity to participate in decision making and make decisions at the bedside so um, this leadership workshop is very, very helpful, and um, this is conducted by different um, nursing leaders as well. So it is something to really look out for. Wow. And then, of course, we have very important as well during these times, wholeness and, well, uh, wholeness and wellness. Um, I think, is it La Laverne who conducts yeah. this one? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, who conducts yeah. this one. So we also had a very good feedback about it because uh, we all know that in the current situation, we are so preoccupied with um, many things, but it is very important to be able to really uh, be on the right state of mind, especially you know in this kind of uh, situation. And of course, knowing that there are groups or there are people that are also experiencing the same situation. So that keeps you going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then we have this uh, virtual support as well. There you uh, go. Yeah, so that's an uh, okay. online virtual support. Yeah, we're here for yeah, you. Um, it is an action learning that are open for you know FNA um, uh, members, wherein if they want to raise some issues or what. But of course, um, this will be um, for limited um, people only, so they really have to uh, to register because um, we also want to ensure that confidentiality of um, information, whatever information that will be discussed there will be just, you know, kept among the people that are, you know, um, included in the um, that session. Yes, amazing. And last but not the least, it's very important as well, uh, financial education. This yeah, is something um, that uh, we're not being taught in school, you know, so it's really very important. <laughs> very important yeah. Yes, uh, financial education is uh, very important. So I think um, financial education should be uh, taught in, in the school because uh, especially um, nowadays, especially here in the UK, it's a very tempting. Um, the loans, um, credit cards mm -hmm. are everywhere. If, if you don't have control in terms of your finances, you will, you know, be simply just attempt to buy something and et cetera. And eventually you don't realize your salaries will be just, you know, be allocated in just, you know, to pay these debts and everything. So our very own, uh, one of our officers will be um, sharing her expertise regarding to this. So we also uh, invite those members, uh, FNA members to join us in this session. Wow, amazing, amazing, Seth. Thank you, thank you. So let's just go back. Wow. And um, let's see if uh, President Ariel is, uh, He's not back yet. <laughs> so, um, Joanne, let's bring back Joanne. Because, yep. uh, how do I? Oh, there. You're the one who's conducting uh, the wellness and well being sessions. What can they expect? You know, um, in, in uh, how many hours is it? Is it two hour session or something? Yes, uh, Jeremy, it's a two hour session mm -hmm. filled with, you know, introspection. Mm -hmm. um, we, 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 we will be able to self check, uh, do self check, um, just to make sure that we're really looking after ourselves more than anything else. 
yeah so it's a fun session at the same time yes amazing let's just go back to oh oh exit full screen that's it i'm still learning this technology you know <laughs> Oh, Seraya just messaged me just in time. But I think he can't go in go inside. So I might need to kick somebody out. I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> it's okay. To... I can. Me. <laughs> okay. You can kick anybody from us now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's uh okay. Remove from stream. Who else? Who else? So we can accommodate the other members, other officers. Me? Uh, from stream. Anybody? Uh, I think, Me. I think I have to. Uh, keep from the studio. Oh, that's it. I have to. I can. Okay. I can go if yeah. We can go. Okay. I can go as well, um, Jeremy. So we all go. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's going to stay alone. <laughs> so, and Arjun and Juan is still there. So and Arjun okay. is coming. So. Uh, yeah, sorry, you can come in here. Yeah. Uh, who else? Who else? So we can accommodate. Okay, Marlin. Sharon. Okay. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ati Sharon. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Ati Marlin. Bye. I think. Angelina. Oh, God, just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel is uh, coming back. Uh, Ariel is coming back, I think. He's just trying to... Okay. Um, yes. Oh, not the time. Okay, just bear with me, guys. There you go. So, uh, Marion... Uh, yeah. Please, please invite uh, people to actually uh, join the uh, Filipino Nurses Association. Okay, um, I would like to invite everyone to join the Filipino Nurses Association um, UK. Um, to join, it's it's very easy to join. You just have to visit our website. It's um, www.fnauk.org.uk. Um, you just have to click join and then uh, just uh, fill up the details and then you will receive a confirmation um, email. And also, they can also join our Facebook group in order to be updated. And we also have our uh, Twitter account. This is open for all nurses um, in the UK. As everybody has said earlier, we are a new association and um, we need you in order for our, for our association to thrive because the, the very reason why this association is here, it's not for the officers, it's not for, for the leaders, it's for every nurse. It's for every Filipino nurse in the in the UK. It's a perfect time for us to be um, really united and to help each other because wala talagang iba magtutulungan kundi kapwa natin mga nurses. So we should be looking after uh, one another, especially during this difficult time. So... We hope to see you. Yes, yes. L let's just greet all those people who are watching right now. Uh, we have Daisy M. Isguera. Uh, Daisy said, amazing news. Uh, Erwin Kenjilakap. Wow. Uh, he is my, um, my classmate from uh, high school. <laughs> and he's actually in the U.S. He's also a nurse in, in the U.S. So maybe we can expand in the uh, U.S., right, Erwin? <laughs> We can connect with you there. We can start Filipino Nurses Association US. Uh, and Marlene Alaga Kimayong. Hello there. Thank you for watching. Ati Mate is also watching. Arlene Bautista. And uh, we have some comments as well here. Uh, Arlene Bautista. Hello. Hello. Uh, you should be in here. <laughs> he said a great job, FNUK. Uh, amazing news. And Maria Luisa Mamangon, good Sunday to all. Um, Daisy M. Garcia said, more power to all of you. God bless. Kati Layub Ferrer uh, said, congratulations and good luck to FNUK. Pag-iisipan ko po kung mag-join ako. <laughs> you have to join. <laughs> uh, Daisy is gera amazing. Um, mabuhay po kayo. A Facebook user, I'm from Mandaluyong. 
Marion earlier was saying, uh, I'm trying to join. Self-care is important. Uh, yes. Christopher Josh Noel Calisa said, good, good afternoon, Jeremy and the guests. Uh, shout out from Kings Lynn. Okay, hello there, Kings Lynn. And Marion said, yeah, right, the nurse, nurses used to be subservient. But should be, yes, subservient, yeah, subservient, but nurses should be critical negotiators. Yes, amazing. I like that word, negotiation. <laughs> and uh, well done, according to Ati Julie Simmons. She's also a nurse. Uh, please join us, Ati Julie. And uh, Facebook user, hi, Jen. Uh, there's somebody from Sheffield, UK, and Lucky Milia from Kent. Hello there. And, and let's just uh, welcome back, uh, Sir Ariel Leonada. Hello there. Uh, let's um, please um, tell us the history of uh, FNUK, if uh, if that's okay. How did it come about? Can Can you hear me? I think it's delayed. It's delayed still. Hi. Um, <laughs> thank you, Jeremy. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yeah, so apologies earlier. Um, technology is very good when they are working, but it seems it doesn't work um, well for me this afternoon. So first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to you, Jeremy, for providing us this platform to reach out to our Filipino Kababayans, uh, not only in the United Kingdom, but also elsewhere. Salute to all the officers, my fellow officers of the Filipino Nurses Association. Um, I'd like to emphasize that uh, Filipino Nurses Association is for Filipino nurses and uh, nursing associates who are registered uh, with NMC in the United Kingdom. In FNA UK, um, our commitment is uh, diversity, equality, and inclusivity. So we are also working um, closely with uh, the chief nursing officers in um, scoping the number of Filipino nurses who are working as a nursing assistant or carers in the United Kingdom, and they are currently non-registered with NMC. So if you are or if you know somebody um, in this circumstance, please uh, get in touch. Uh, you can email uh, info at fnauk.org.uk and uh, we will add you to our list. And we are in uh, um, continuous discussion with uh, the chief nursing officers of uh, England and exploring uh, possibilities of uh, supporting you. So please get in touch. Yes. And I believe uh, Philippine Nurses Association was uh, formed back in uh, 2nd of July. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Um, FNA UK uh, has been uh, uh, set up uh, or born in response to the call uh, for help, uh, a call from our Filipino nurses and nursing associates. And we are here to provide a forum um, to discuss issues of uh, collective interest. And I have to highlight that in FNA UK, everybody's equal. We are together on this journey we learn together, we share, and we develop. Yes, amazing, sir. Let's um, have that screen. So thank you very much um, for all the officers uh, who joined us um, today uh, for our meet and greet. And for all of the Filipino nurses here in the UK, please have a look at the Facebook page, Filipino Nurses Association. UK, we have uh, Twitter as well, and we are a, a, a community interest company registered uh, company. Uh, the registration number is there, and um, support is very important, you know, because we are uh, moving to another country to work here, to live here, and you know, bring our family. And those, um, those uh, first year of coming in here is uh, the uh, adjustment period, the adaptation, you know, this is when uh, homesickness actually comes in and, you know, you don't know anybody. Uh, Filipino Nurses Association is here uh, to help you, not just during that period of time, but also, you know, in terms of uh, professional development. And as what uh, Sir Ariel said earlier, it's all about networking, you know, it's all about networking. 
and um, uh, trying to discuss the common interests of uh, each other. If there's any certain issues that needs to be discussed, which has an effect on everyone, you know, on our uh, not just working, but also family life or personal life. Uh, um, it's very important that uh, we can direct people to the appropriate places. You know, it's like uh, we, we filter them and then uh, Philippine Association, uh, which has connections with other uh, organizations, and we have a whole lot range of uh, specialities in the group that can, can help you in every way. It's not just uh, we have uh, well-being, we have leadership, we have all these skills that uh, we can all benefit from. And it's all free workshop. So where else will you go, you know? <laughs> so it's it's very important that I uh, take a look. And um, I'm, I'm sure Sarah, uh, Sarah Riel is also in negotiation with other um, uh, companies, you know, just to a um, little, little bit of perks, you know, as, uh, becoming a member. Uh, would you be able to tell us more about that one at this point or not yet? So I'm struggling a little bit with the sound because there's a bit of a delay, um, uh, mm -hmm. Jeremy. But um, as I said, uh, the membership for Philippine Nurses Association is free of charge. Um, so they can visit our website at www.fnauk.org.uk. Uh, or you can email us at uh, info at fna.uk.org.uk uh, and we will be delighted to have a conversation with them. So FNA UK is here to serve, to learn and to grow and develop together. So, uh, you know, our, our common theme is uh, together everyone achieves more. Together we will serve better and together we can you know, uh, achieve and develop more. So let's come and unite together. Let's exactly. synergize. Synergize. So I like that word, synergize. And as what you said, together, everyone achieves more. That's actually team. If they actually look at it, T-E-A-M. And uh, Marion, any um, any message to all the Filipino nurses here that you would um, like to impart? Well, um, I think they, they call me Bunso. Um, then sir, uh, no, the roster of the officers. I'm I'm one of the, uh, the youngest next. I think next to to Jay and um, uh, Jay and Michael. So, like uh, what you said, it's very important to have uh, that sense of support, especially you know during your your first year in in the UK. Because um, personally, when I first um, um, arrived in the UK in 2017. Although there are some support around, but it's very important. And I think that helps that you know that there's an association, there's really an established organization that's present, that's visible, uh, that, that can help you. Because um, moving from the Philippines to the UK would um, require a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. So different culture, the weather, the cost of living, everything so there are many factors to be considered and um sometimes um what um, nurses don't see when when you're still in the philippines you you only see that the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. you only see the the tip of the iceberg but actually when you arrive in the uk it's a continuous journey and along the way you learn until now I, i'm still learning trying to to learn um new things and it's important and it's helpful to have someone to to guide you or to to help you you know reach uh, a right decision especially among, uh, about the career path or any decision that um you're about to make because um in the end it is you who will decide for yourself other people will would be there but it is your um own decision but the people around you can help you arrive you know in the right decision so i encourage um those nurses to join the the association there be no harm in joining the association it is um absolutely free joining is um voluntary we, we don't force anyone to to join the association but um we encourage them to to join the filipino nurses um association um united kingdom Especially these days, uh, nurses coming from uh, the Philippines, they have to be yeah. quarantined. Yeah, they have to be quarantined I, for 40 days. I, I agree. Um, that's why I think it's just perfect timing that this association has been built 
because mm-hmm. uh, I know that back home there were many issues that these nurses have faced. Um, mm-hmm. Personally, um, I've experienced um, some things when when I got stuck in the Philippines. So I'm in the same shoes actually, and I I understand the the frustration. I understand the the things that uh, they they're feeling because. It's a long journey to get here to the UK. The, the amount of preparation that every nurse, the the kind of decisions that they have to to make, the sacrifices. But um, I encourage them to just um, keep on going. I myself, I took the IELTS more than once. I took it four times. But looking back, I would say that it's still um, worth it. Of course, the road is not easy. There would be challenges. There would be failures along the way. But um, mm. I think that 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 keeps us going. Looking mm. back, um, you realize that the, even that failure serves it, you know, serve it its purpose. Exactly. And, um, I'm just happy to to be where I am now. So now, I, I'm already. I've been in the UK for more than three years, three mm. years and seven months. So, parang kahapon lang. Yeah, <laughs> yes, processing my application, and now um, I'm here. But I know there's so much to learn. To be honest, every day uh, you learn, you encounter people, and um, mm-hmm. I think that's it. So what's yeah. no pag-asa? You know, exactly. We we only fail. Don't lose hope. Exactly. So those challenges, you know, it will it serves its purpose. So once you arrive here, you will understand why things happen that way. Although it's difficult, di ba? Parang misa madaling sabihin eh. But when you're not in that situation, mm-hmm. uh, parang ano eh, hindi mo maintindihan eh. But personally, ako ang experience kayo. Mm-hmm. Why I left the Philippines in 2017? Why not earlier or why not um, mm-hmm. later? So it all happens for a reason. Exactly. I love that. Things happen for a reason. And we only fail when we quit. But actually, failure as well is a part of success. And the great failure, failure, failure is the failure to try. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. You need to take the risk. Mm-hmm. But of course, you have to, you know, to take the risk, you know, balance the, the cross. Calculated and, risk, yeah. Calculated. But in the end, you have a decision to make. A yes mm-hmm. or a no, there's no no in between. No in between. But, um, Either or. You have to just um, be prepared for you know whatever consequences, but uh, you just have to to keep on going. Exactly. Thank you very much for that, Marion, and thank you very much everyone for uh, for coming in. All the officers of uh, Filipino Nurses Association UK. And by the way, I would like to congratulate again, Sir Ariel Lanada, for uh, winning the leadership <laughs> award yesterday on the. Um, uh, One Nation Awards UK Lockdown 2020. You are such an inspiration. All of you are such an inspiration. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure talking to all of you, meeting you all, even though it's only virtual. I've met uh, uh, Sir Ariel personally uh, in, in Oxford. Um, I was, uh, oh, I think, I was one of the sponsors in the of the event, and that's when we actually got connected and we stayed connected. And now we're we're here, uh, Filipino Nurses Association. And of course, Susie was, uh, uh, we came here all together uh, back in 99. So, Batchmate. Yes, yes, Batchmate. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Uh, please, uh, Sir Ariel uh, and Marion, uh, they're not here uh, at the backstage now. They're not here, but uh, I'm sure they're still listening. I would like to thank uh, Filipino Nurse Association for actually uh, being with us here uh, in Germination. It's, it's been a pleasure. I've learned a lot, and it's been a pleasure meeting you all. Thank you very much. Uh, so see you all. See you all uh, yeah. face to face when it allows. Thank you very much, Jeremy, and thank <laughs> you for you serving with us. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you very much. Thank God bless. You. God bless. God bless. There you go. There you go. So thank you very much, everyone, for uh, listening, and I hope um, uh, things have been um, uh, clear to your mind now. Uh, what uh, Filipino Nurses Association is all about. Uh, it's very important that um, you are uh, in contact or in connection with uh, associations like this that could be very, very helpful to your professional and personal growth as well. So let me just give a shout out to all those who are watching right now. Uh, God bless, according to Daisy Esguera, Merlin Soriao Tabirao. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for having us and being an instrument in reaching out 
to all our Filipino colleagues to let them know that they are not alone. Yes, that's very important. And FNA UK is here to support and that we can call uh, that can all learn and grow together. Congratulations and more power to your show and may you continue to be a blessing to others. Thank you very much, Merlin. Uh, Arin Bautista, well done, sir. Ariel Lanada, uh, Daisy Sguera, more power. Uh, pray and wish there will be more nurses like you. Absolutely. J. Vincent Medina is watching. Rosefa Seca is watching. Uh, Arlene Bautista said, uh, very proud of you, Bunso. And that goes to Marion. Uh, Daisy Garcia, they are lucky as my husband experienced a lot of adjustment when he's new, when he's new in this country and being away with your family is a lot of sacrifices to make. Exactly, absolutely. And Amelia Kayana, thank you for watching. Arlene Bautista said, go Bunso. That's for Marion. Mini Pascual Clepas is watching. Hello there. Thank you for watching. And we miss you today, Mini. <laughs> Florentina Palome Banker is watching. Angelica, Angelica Jose is watching. Uh, Arlene Bautista, our association will become the voice of the Filipino nurses in the UK and worldwide. We will be sure of that. Yes, absolutely, Arlene. I agree. Maita Martin is watching. Uh, Daisy M. Isguera, rest assured, we will encourage our family and, and family of the nurse to support and join you more power. God bless. Elvin Diane is also watching. Hello there. Daisy Isguera. Ferdy Esteban, hello there, uh, Sir Ferdy Esteban, a very good photographer who is from Sheffield right now. Uh, well done, FNUK, and more power, according to Ferdy Esteban. Uh, the nurse and the family of the nurse will support you. That's from Ate Daisy Sguera. Thank you for greeting me. Yes, of course, Ate Daisy Garcia. Um, sorry, I cannot be there. Thank you, Jeremy, for this. Uh, you're welcome, Po, Ate Arlene. Great job, FNUK. And I think that's all about it. Uh, Lloyd Balatongan is watching. Hello there. Uh, the winner of uh, Online Jamming in One Nation Awards UK yesterday. Uh, band member of uh, The Soulmates. And here, let's see. I think it's the same comments. Uh, J. Vincent Medina said, Ipagpatuloy ang magandang simulan. Mabuhay ang Filipino nurses. Absolutely. Well done, Bunso and President Ariel. So that's all we get time for. And thank you very much for sticking around, for watching. And uh, mabuhay FNUK, mabuhay lahat ng Filipino nurses dito sa UK at sa ibang bansa na rin. And maraming salamat sa pagsuporta sa Germination TV. And stay safe. May we be uh, uh, an instrument of uh, light and love to other people and all the good things that we can share to the people around us. So thank you very much, everyone. Stay safe and namaste.